because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last Martin Bacoli's in the house. Mate, thank you very much for, for giving me some of your time. How are we? Hey, yeah, I'm okay. I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Yeah. I'm enjoying some boxing, of course, here in Bolton. Um, I'm going to jump straight in to the action. April the 22nd, we get to see you in Poland against Hulk. Um, just tell me, first off, how that fight came about for you, Martin. I know, yeah, it was, you know, it's very difficult to find an opponent right now, but the big uh, Elk, I don't know, his full name is difficult. And uh, he said yes to fight me in the Poland, so I'm looking forward to, to see what he's going to bring in the, in the ring. Is that what it was about for you, just making sure you keep in the ring? Yes, you're chasing these big fights, but you can't wait around. You can't wait around, so you need to fight meanwhile. Yeah, yeah, soon I beat up uh, Tony Yoka. It's uh, about eight months or seven, eight, nine months now, so I need to be back in the ring because I was waiting to to face Michael Hunter, who was number one and number two in WBA ranking, but now he's off because he's done one year without fighting, so... I don't want to take that risk, so that's why I accept, you know, before big fight, I accept this fight so I can keep you know, on shape and uh, keep going. So I, I don't want to lose my place in WBA. Yeah. What can you tell us about Hulk? Um, it's a pretty cool name. Do, yeah. Does he kind of live up to the name Hulk yeah. in any aspect? Yeah, I don't know much about him, but you know, the name is saying everything is Hulk. You can say you beat, you can say you beat Hulk. Oh, it's yeah. it's cool. Of course, yeah, but I, I know I'll beat him. So, <laughs> but you know, he's a, uh, he's a, a boxer. So someone who's accepts to fight me, I'm number two, number one today because number one is ranking is empty in WBA. And it's 10 0, so he accepts to fight me, so he's, he can feel like he's ready because there's more people there. They are hiding, they don't want to fight me, they are you know, they're avoiding me, but he says yes, so much respect to him, I respect him, so I'm going to fight. It's a serious fight. Yeah, look forward to a big night in Poland, obviously headlined by yeah. Mr. Alan Babich, the savage himself. <laughs> um, I want to talk about Tony Oki, you mentioned him, just kind of your take on that defeat to Carlos Takam. That's two back to back defeats. Okay, they're at a high level with yourself and Carlos, um, but. Just kind of your take on that defeat for Tony, and I don't know, is that kind of potentially the end of him chasing his world title dreams? Yeah, because he's talking too much, you know, in the boxing, don't talk too much. You know, talk when you're ready to conquer everything. It's like, uh, who can talk now? Uzik, uh, like uh, Tyson, they can talk now because everybody knows that he's a champ. But uh, no, no, I can feel it that you can be a champion, but keep it in your mind and keep it in the gym. Work hard to be there. So when you're there, now you can start talking. So New York can make big mistake of not talking too much a lot before, you know, be a world champion because it was a amateur, a goal in uh, 2016, in a gold medals. So that's not bad. Then everyone knows him from that. But to be a world champion and uh, in every way, especially professional, so you need to work hard. So that's the small advice I give him. So he can have to sit down and uh, have big talk with his team so he can change some stuff. See if you want to be back to win and be a world champion one day, you have to change his style, you have to change his team. Yeah. So that is the message I can send you. But he still no, you know, lose two two fights. Today Joshua is a got three three losses, but you know, it doesn't doesn't mean that he give up. You now today he's having big fight coming soon, so he still have that mentality, champion mentality. So I think if he work hard and he change his team, he change some style, he can come back the uh, come back and you know, be a world champion, why not? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's talk Fury Usyk now. You knew we was going to bring this up. It's been a mad week, man. It's been a mad week. We thought we was going to get the fight signed for April the 29th. There's been so many different problems. We could stand here and just list them off. I just kind of want to ask you, do you lie blame with either Tyson Fury or Alexander Usyk? Obviously, look, we're looking from the outside. I know there's kind of lots of fine details, but do you lay blame with either Tyson or Alexander? No, I don't blame anybody because, you know, right, in, uh, right now boxing is now politic and there's a business now, you know. Uh, f uh, I see some video today posted. I don't know who posted, but I see Frank Ron, you know, asking Uzik who's going to fight next. Who gives a monkeys? Go f I'll tell you what, dude. Make Bacoli and Uzik and see what that draws. Because Tyson is you now fighting Tyson, you get big, you know, big money and payday. So everything now today is about money. It's not about what the fun want, but you know, people are interested in the money now. But I'm not. I'm not blaming Tyson, I'm not blaming Uzik. I don't know what is going on exactly. I don't know why that for, oh, that fight is off because everyone was waiting for that fight. So I don't know, maybe. When I ask maybe my coach, maybe Billy is my manager coach, 
maybe you can tell me what is going on exactly, but uh, I'm focused on my career, not them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obviously, Tyson still got the April 29th date. Well, Frank still got it booked at Wembley. We don't know what's going to happen. It is a very short turnaround yeah. for Tyson now. Obviously, he would be fighting someone when he has been training for Usyk. Um, if you were to get the call for April 29th, considering you as a name that was clearly on Frank's lips, if you were to get the call for April 29th, would you jump at that chance? Of course. I always, I always call up uh, the big names. I'm a big boy. Number number one, WB is not given to everybody. So I'm ready to face anybody. I always say this. I'm ready to face anybody. When I was not ready, I was saying it. But now I'm saying it every day. I'm calling out everyone who want to face me. And everyone, even Chaison said today, no, no, I'll no from... Uh, I'll, my music is off now. I want to fight Maxi Bakole. I'm ready. Mm. So I'm working hard every day. Day by day, I'm working hard to be a world champion one day. So I'm always be ready. Daniel Dubois is a WBA regular champion right now. And he's in a good position to face music. And I am as well in a good position because I'm number one in the ranking. So after music is Dubois and it's me. So why not? Do you think that could take a long time though? Uh, I don't think so because after my fight in Poland, Maybe my team, they're working on getting me mandatory, so 100%. So if I'm not going to face Dibwa or Uzik, so I'm ready to. That's why I sent the message before even today. Uh, before yesterday, I sent a message to Uzik. Now Tyson Fury is off. Is he ready to face me or is going to fight Daniel Dibwa? Yeah. And are you expecting a response from Mr. Uzik? I don't think so because he knows what happened in Dubai and the story is for him. Yeah, so I don't think so. But I'm ready if you say yes. And a uh, uh, big promoter already mentioned my name. So I think maybe, you know, <laughs> something can work in his head. Maybe he can call my name by mistake, maybe one day <laughs> when he's <laughs> Yeah. It's all very exciting. It's all very exciting. Very, very um, just quickly, obviously, if it is to be Daniel Dubois and Alexander Usyk, how do you see that fight playing out? I, I think uh, that would, uh, would assist to Usyk and Joshua Tree. Because Uzik is moving a lot, Daniel Dubois does. He doesn't have a chance to take punch. I think Uzik will school him, will school him again. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bounce is guilty. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 